What's up guys, MacBoy here, and today I'm going to be making sort of a reply video or a second edition video of my jailbreak video that I made uh, uh, a while ago, uh, jailbreaking my iPhone 3G uh, to 2.2.1 on the Mac. Uh, now I noticed that a lot of you, uh, pretty much all of you, got the error message over and over again in iTunes when uh, hitting Alt uh, Option Restore, and that didn't work out for you. So uh, and that's because uh, in 10.5.6, Apple put a, a DFU bug in the, the, the system, which uh, makes which doesn't allow the Mac to recognize your iPhone in DFU mode once it's been put in. And to jailbreak something, you need to put uh, the iPhone iPod Touch into DFU mode. And if the Mac doesn't recognize it, you cannot jailbreak it. So this is the way around this. And this will this time we'll be we'll, this time we're going to be using QuickPwn, and um, to I'm going to try to explain this to you really fast. I'm not going to take too much time off of you, but what you're going to do is you're going to need to download uh, the following files. You need to download the QuickPwn file uh, from the link in the description, and you need to download the uh, firmware which mats which matches your device. And the link for all the firmware links is in the description. Uh, go ahead and download those and uh, QuickPwn looks something like this right here alright now before you launch QuickPwn uh, you're going to need to do is this to get around the DFU uh, mode problem you're going to need to go to the Apple uh, website or in fact go to the link in the description and you're going to need to have an account set up with Apple set up with a developer connection and this is free you don't have to be a developer but you have to have an account set up with a developer connection. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you have an account with Apple with the developer connection. And uh, because you're going to need to log in uh, on the Apple website and download these two files um, that I'll write here. I'll show you one sec. This is the first file that you need to download. As you can see, I am logged into the developer connection member site on the Apple website. And it's the IOUSB, F, uh, sorry, IO USB family log release for 10.5.6 build 9G55 so that's the first one you need to download um, to, to download it you just go in the link in the description make sure you log in and just click over here for the disk image and the second one you need to download is right here alright as you can see it's the same thing IO USB family log release 10.5.5 yes it is a 5 um, build 9F33 and again just click on the link right here to download these two files. Now, after I tell you this, after you download these, if you don't understand my instructions, I will have the instructions to use these two files, how to use these files, and what to do with these files in the description. So you can go ahead and read that and um, follow over there. All right. Once you download these two files, the DMGs are going to open up two different volumes with four different files inside each one. As you can see, this is the first DMG. And this has two packages, and one's a log package and one's a package, and then the instructions, uh, RTF files, and the same thing with the second one. All right, this next step is very, very important. I know it's a, probably a big pain for you, but you need to detach all peripherals connected to your computer, all external mass storage devices like USBs or external hard drive. You need to detach everything except the keep the keyboard and the mouse, of course. Now, go into the volume, um, the one that's uh, 315.4.1 log, and open up the one that I have selected right here, 315.4.1.package. Not this one, this is the log package. Open up this package right here. All right? The installer will come up and just uh, go, go through the installer, install it and then reboot your system alright so once you've installed that this package right here 315 package reboot your system now once you've been rebooted rebooted sorry open up quick quick pwn which you downloaded from the link in the description open up quick pwn and do your required steps I'm not gonna go through it with you because quick pwn is very 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 easy to use um, it's really quick as you can tell by the name all you do is you just connect your iPhone to the computer via the USB and the Apple connector.
connect it, and Quick Pwn will do the rest for you. It's going to build the IPSW, and it's going to Quick Pwn it for you. All right, now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to quit out of Quick Pwn. And once you've quit out of Quick Pwn, uh, and your device is almost jailbroken, oh, sorry, it's jailbroken, uh, you're going to go to this package right here, the 327.4.0-log, and you're going to open up this package right here. Again, not the log package, but this package, uh, hyphen 327.4.0.package. Open that up. Again, run through the installer. And once you've done run running through the installer, once again, reboot your system. Once you have rebooted your system, retach all your peripheral devices, and that's basically it. That is how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G very very safely and um, not screwing up all your peripheral devices at all now Apple did release 10.5.7 the other day and I'm not sure if it requires you to do the uh, USB sorry run these two installers but give it a try without installing these installers and uh, doing the hard steps and if it fails then run these two installers and um, you, your device should be jailbroken to 2.2.1 on your Mac. Again guys, the link for everything to download, links for everything to download is in the description, are in the description, and again the instructions for the USBs, the uh, package files, are also in the description. Thank you very much for watching. If this did help, please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe to this video and channel, and uh, follow me on Twitter, add me on iChat, become a fan of Macboy Productions on Facebook, and until next time, have a great day what am I talking about? Peace!